Hey Sagittarius, welcome to the shadows. <laughs> um, I just got a new deck. I got a new rune deck, so I said, "Oh, let's see what's let's see what the mystery is, Sagittarius." Um, this could be things you don't see coming. It could be things you do see coming. I don't know because it's it's a lot, Sag. <laughs> it's a lot, but it, it's actually a really good thing. Um, so we have Dagas. Uh, there's a big change coming in, Sag. There's a change coming in for sure, for sure. Um, and with Iwas, this is all part of your journey, although there is some chaos attached to it uh, through some conversation. Um, hello, Mercury. <laughs> I feel like at this point, I don't even have to do a reading for Mercury Retrograde because it's been coming out every day and we haven't even gotten to it yet. Like, it doesn't even start till Sunday. But that's that shadow for you. But let's take a dial it back and take a look at what's under the deck. Because it's all here. Five of Pentacles, um, Ace of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. Um, it does really feel like something is ending. Okay, okay. It does feel like something is ending and um, I, yeah, I don't know how you feel about it, honestly. You might feel a little sad about it because usually with the Five of Pentacles, it's kind of still in the works and maybe it has been kind of leading to this moment. Uh, but look at this, Saj. Like, it's opening up a new opportunity and it kind of feels like one thing doesn't happen without the other, you know? And something that you're actually more aligned with or that is more aligned with you and your current state of being and it's kind of like if you would just listen to that maybe this wouldn't seem so um dramatic right i mean because we do see you having some feelings here and it's kind of you know the five of pentacles is feeling left out but still feeling hope that something's around the corner and maybe like intuitively you kind of know that and even while this is going on, you might know that that's why this is happening. You know? Yeah. So, uh, you know, Dagas is all about <coughs> the day. So a brand new day, you know, it's about the day and the night. And something is transforming. Um, something's ending, Sag. For sure, for sure. With the Nine of Wands and the Death card. It's kind of like, um, you might have been thinking about this for a while, to be honest, like what your next move was, that kind of thing. And I'm, I'm always caught to like the way this um, Nine of Wands is, you know, because this is about like what you want to create and what, what change might need to happen for you, you know, and... You maybe been thinking about that a lot. And it feels like the universe is kind of bringing it in in a weird way for you. Um, it's going to show you what to do, right? Or it may just be bringing the change. And, you know, <laughs> Nine of Wands. This feels like, it, because the Nine of Wands is perseverance, right? So this change has been building for a while is what it's telling you. So don't take this ending as an ending, take it as a beginning, you know, because Iwas is here, which is about the journey, you know, and it, it does like also deal with the ending, but the ending is a necessary part of the journey for whatever it is that's coming next. And it might be, um, this is like really what's best for you from your sense of self, um, you know, the Ace of Cups reverse can be self-love, you know, focusing on what's good for you. And it's going to happen quickly. It's going to happen quickly. I'm seeing quite a bit of, I mean, I feel too, since you go from the Nine of Wands to the Knight of Swords, like it's, it's really going to deal with 
any sort of stuckness you might have felt like not knowing what to do is it's almost like it's being taken care of for you you know quickly <laughs> quickly and it could be through communication it could be and you're gonna like realize that this was all part of your journey and that you've been protected here you know um Hagelis is here which is the chaos which honestly it just kind of feels like this had to happen for change to happen because especially if you were in nine of wands energy you know the nine of wands is just i'm exhausted i, I don't really know what to do i'm just going to kind of lay here right um <coughs> lay here recover you know think about what's next but not really have an idea of what's next uh, so now when I think about chaos, we do have a, a square between Venus and, and Uranus, um, which Uranus brings great change, but it brings it in, in a way that's kind of, you know, stressful. It's like forcing you to make a decision, I feel like, but you know, it's here with judgment, the Ten of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, this is just about going to your next place. It's like going to the next thing. You know, it, it will sting a little. It will, because it's, it's kind of the ending of a cycle for you. You know, and, and though the way it comes in, it does feel kind of like it's forcing your hand forcing you to make a decision um or at least you know get to like you're getting close to that right it just kind of makes up your mind i feel and look at this 10 10 10 10 <laughs> yeah okay okay so and here's communication which actually is showing up twice so there's a lot of communication coming in at this at this point um, which, you know, it's like, hold on to your seat, right? It's with the seven of swords and the seven of wands. I mean, there could be something said, uh, that you didn't even, it's kind of like someone expressing themselves and not even knowing that's how they felt. Um, <laughs> Or this could be you. This could be you saying things that you haven't said. That you've kept to yourself, right? Oh boy. Oh wowza. <laughs> so the good news is here for you. Givo, which is very much um, manifesting, very much receiving. And it's, you know, it's, it can be wealth. It's definitely good fortune. Um, someone else, it feels like it's someone being generous with you. So there could be an offer on the table. And this is the offer of a new beginning. It really is. And yet here we go again, more communication. More, commu <laughs> more communication. You know, um, and this is bringing big change to your life. Sagittarius. This is going to be big change. So on the bottom here is the King of Cups, the King of Wands, Temperance, and the Two of Pentacles. I feel like this is like I do feel like someone is proposing something to you. Um, and you just maybe on the one hand, you, it feels like positive movement forward. Cause I feel like you're King of Wands here. Um, but uh, there is a little doubt mixed in to be quite honest with you. Like temperance is coming in. So this is about divine timing. This is about, this has been a while in the works. 
like it, it, it's, it's a move that needs to be made and I feel like you're making peace with that even though you have the two of swords the seven of pentacles and the seven of cups meaning you you want to make sure that you make the right choice um, or that the choice you're making is right it's kind of like well, I don't know, should I wait it out a little bit or should I make this decision? Okay, jeez. Let's see what's up here. Yeah, Page of Wands. This is a new direction for you. Four of Wands. Eight of Wands. It's kind of like once you decide it, Ten of Pentacles, it moves very quickly. And this could be about a home, you could be moving. You could be making a move here. Um, and it's actually a good one. You know, the Page of Wands is a new adventure, Sag. A new adventure with new people. Um, possibly even a new home. New family, what have you. Wow. And, I mean... I do feel like you may be just thinking about, is this the right move for you? Like, specifically in terms of your own independence. You know, is this the right move, the right time? Would this be going from, uh, you know, the, what is the, the saying, the pan to the fire? You just want to make sure that it's right. You know, because you do have a choice here. Um, and you do feel like this is going to create some independence for you. I feel like you do feel, but you are going to look at it. You are going to think about it. I don't feel like you're making, even though events seem to be unfolding quickly, there could be some harsh words too, Sag, I'm not going to lie. There could be some harsh words. Um, but what the harsh words are telling you is just that whatever this move is you're making, it's time. It's time. And you may have put that off. You know, you may have put off making this decision even. So I'm trying to clean this up a little bit. <laughs> <coughs> and see where this is all taking you. See where this is taking you. Sagittarius. And we will do a little bit of timing. So I do feel, though, that you may want to watch your words. Especially with Mercury Retrograde playing out its dirty little hand. Okay. So where is this taking Sagittarius? I do kind of feel like you may not be expecting some of the words that are being said. Okay, Sag. Where is this leading Sagittarius? Yep. So I definitely feel like an offer. That feels like what you've been waiting for. Um, it's merely, I mean, do you pick it up, you know? Yeah, because look, the Knight of Cups. It's like you want to, right? You want to do this. Your heart wants you to do this. The Six of Wands wants you to do this. It feels exciting to you. Um, but there's also you wanting to be practical, you know, because we're seeing two, so I don't feel like this decision will be easy for you. And look, Ace of Swords on the bottom, the Sun reversed, uh, the, chair, the Chariot, I feel like you want to do it. Okay, but let's see. What is this new offer of a new beginning about? Oh, 
what is this new beginning now this could be a person for you because the page of cups and the knight of cups both talk about romance but Ace of Pentacles, there's the offer. The Fool, the Page of Pentacles, Reverse. Yeah, I, I do very much feel like, like you don't want to be impulsive. You don't want to make a decision that you will regret later, like especially based on if you've done this in the past and it hasn't really worked out. Um, but this is pentacles. So there is some security here, even though you may not see it. Tell me about this new opportunity. Five of swords. Well, it could cause some problems with others. Yeah, but I don't know. It's like your heart wants to do this. And I feel like whoever is making this offer, because it does feel like a person, I feel like their intentions are good. Um, but you want more information. <laughs> yeah. And it, it may be that, like, especially with the seven of seven of wands reverse being here you're not blocking it you may have blocked you may have been resistant in the past um but there's something of you being and and the fact that this is compromised energy with the seven of wands i kind of feel like it may not be like perfect you know it may not be what you imagined but look at this the universe is saying um, the universe is saying it's a good thing that it's what you've been working towards um, and maybe it's hard for you to see that Oof. But it feels like the universe is also going to, I don't know, make something happen that, I don't want to say takes your choice away, but it's kind of like, especially being into a sword's energy, being of two minds, something happens, some unexpected change happens that makes either one of these things undoable right because you said you want to change right and with the knight of pentacles being here they're telling you this is what you've been working towards and now is the time Sag you know now is the time and maybe you've just been in the process so long that's what make, makes you iffy about the choice right but the ace of cups and the two of cups is two of cups is here again which could be a relationship, it could be. Or it could just be that this is the opportunity to, to align, you know? This is like coming into alignment. You just might be expecting, it just, you gotta take a chance here, you know, and, and really come out of, feeling comfortable and I feel like this is why the universe is bringing this to you oh boy okay all right she's Louise so let's get some final words I love it because we're ready Sag so just you know don't be resistant, even if it isn't the perfect opportunity. And what all of those aces tell you is that it's a start. And all the pages. You gotta start somewhere. Amen, amen. Ooh. Final words 
for Sagittarius. Put things together piece by piece to reveal the bigger picture. This is like a piece of your puzzle. Nice. Shield of resilience. Employ your shield of resilience, guarding against external pressures while nurturing your internal strength in love and career. So, I mean, it... It's like your puzzle is completing, Sag. And, you know, maybe even whatever this is, it's not going to be the total culmination. But it's it's getting you closer. Amen, amen. <laughs> okay. Yes, this is this is an opportunity. A new path is opening up. Love it. So remember that even when you're confused as, as to what you can, you should do when all of this communication comes in that's difficult and this chaos, that it is actually leading you where you're supposed to go. It's a piece of the puzzle. Okay, Sagittarius, I love this for you. Talk to you soon. Toodles.